Now one really traditionally given exercise to help improve people's point range or strength into point is pointing against it the resistance of a TheraBand. So I wanted to go through why I don't really recommend this and some other slightly safer options. So Sarah's just going to demonstrate the kind of bad version of doing this. Now, as we talked about, we want to get control through the lumbricals or the little muscles in the toes. But unfortunately, how a lot of people do this exercise is by pointing into the band, pointing forward, and then really clawing the toes. Now, this just trains you to use the wrong muscles. So we really rather you not do that. A safer version is to try and keep the toes long. So you can actually point nicely into the band keeping the toes really, really long and straight. But this takes a lot of effort, a lot of concentration, and especially in young students, I really do not recommend that you do this. If you're getting enough pressure on the band, it can create some compression at the back of the ankle. So it's better to just avoid this one. Instead, we're going to point into a ball. So using a soft, um, kind of 75% inflated ball, focusing on pointing to the demi point, and then using that doming action to keep the toes long, this will provide a little bit of resistance underneath. You'll feel the lumbricals working much more. Try and keep the heel close to the mat rather than letting it pop off. Then release the toes and release the heel and actually lengthen into the back of the ankle. Then again, point to the demi point. Just make sure you don't drop the big toe too quickly. Keep nice and even through the foot. Then nice long toes. Beautiful, using the resistance of the ball to get some activation underneath. Then release the toes and release the heel. Now, if you would like to use your TheraBand, there is a good way of doing this, but it targets the perineals rather than lumbricals. So pop the ball between the thighs, take the band and wrap it around the outside of the foot instead of the front. Beautiful. And then popping it underneath this one. We can keep it up over the toes a little, sitting up nice and straight, really lifting from the top of the sacrum. Make sure this foot is nicely corrected. Gently press down to the demi point. Again, making sure that the outer border of the foot and the big toe work together. Then lengthen the toes. And you can really watch what's going on with the toes here a little bit more. Then release the toes and then release the heel. Now you won't feel it so much in the first couple, but after about six or seven or eight of these, you really feel the work starting a little bit up here. This, however, is far better than winging out into the band because this is how your perineals need to work when you're working on rise. We don't want to push out against into resistance. That can cause a lot of jamming up at the top here at your superior tib fib. But by controlling the alignment of the ankle, you'll actually train the perineals for how they control your ankle when dancing. For younger students, I use the ball between the legs. For older students, take the ball out and pop it off to the side and repeat the same exercise. This is still a great exercise for your foot and ankle, but it also brings in a challenging hip component as well. So it will start to load into glute med, a little bit of the lateral stabilizers, but you also may feel it working into your deep inner thighs as well. It's really nice to give some awareness to the muscle that are used to help position the hip. So if you're looking for exercises to strengthen, I'd much prefer to use this one or the one against the ball rather than poking into the band or picking things up with your toes.